Uh, I do think that love is necessary for a fulfilled life. I think that humans are social creatures and our relationships are what bring happiness. Um, I think it is necessary to have a, a real romantic love in your life in order to be happy because um, it is such a big part of, of human being and human life and um, if you missing that part I think there will be a lot of problem if you want to build your own family and if you want to have children then if you don't have a real love with your spouse then your children will be affected there will be a lot of problems and it's you just lost a big part of like support that everybody should have in life so I think it's necessary. So I think it is necessary assuming that you have a uh, broaden my view of what love means. Yeah. And why? I don't know. It seems kind of lonely to you all along. <laughs> I've been single all my life. So you think yes? Yes. Um, idealistically, I want to say yes. I don't think it's the only thing that's necessary. Some people, if it's a goal that they have and it makes them feel happier in order to be able to have this interaction with another person, then it can definitely help them live a fulfilled life. But in order to live a fulfilled life, it's totally not necessary because you can pursue like your own goals and make your happiness in a different way too. I definitely think love is necessary to be fulfilled in life because um, it's one of the most essential emotions I think a human being has. And you can find love in a variety of different ways. It doesn't have to necessarily be with other people even. Um, people are in love with their animals, their dogs, their, their life, their jobs, um, a variety of different things I think can bring that kind of happiness to people. But um, I think it's mostly fulfilled by family and, and people you meet and people you connect with. But I think it's absolutely essential. I'm 32 years old, in lots of relationships and I've been and I love my family, uh -huh. but I find that it's it's just it's it's a, it's a feeling that it's important to always have for yourself in terms of always being positive. Mm -hmm. So love is the ultimate positive form of anything. Negative is fear. That's the, the worst ultimate. Mm -hmm. But I would say um, if you are living in fear, hate and fear. I mean, it's not going to do you any good anywhere and it's just going to be the trouble to trouble to trouble when you live in the, in the life of love just positiveness all the time it's just so much better it's just a better life experience all together it changed my life when i kind of realized those kind of things it took me probably 20 27 28 years to kind of figure that out which kind of sucks i kind of wish i could kind of figure that out like 18 years ago but um uh, it's it's something that is it's necessary uh, for you to do anything in life because when you love something when you love to do something mm -hmm. it you always do it really well and it always comes out in a positive way I mean all the time uh, I'm not saying that you're gonna be professional in basketball or hockey or anything like that but if you still love playing the sport then um, what's wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever Yes, because um, I think love creates passion, it creates drive, and love doesn't have to be for a person, it could be for a thing that you adore, like if you have love for, I don't know, fighting you know, poverty or ending childhood, whatever, I think mm -hmm. that you need something to drive you in life, apart from something that's tangible, so... I think it is very important for existence. I think it is, but I don't think it needs to be yeah. with the person you want to marry. I think it could be with, with a, a family dog member or, or yeah, with like, a family yeah, member. Yeah, your dog, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you said no? No. Why? I mean, like, well, yeah, but like, I guess. I know what but you're saying. Not with like a, a companion or something. Like, again, like your dog or whatever. Mm -hmm. Have to be with a person. It could be, well, yeah, it could be with a family member as well. Yeah. You don't really have to like, love a person. But you don't want to be lonely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, you can love a fish. You can love your pet fish. I think love manifests itself in many ways. I think that friendship 
is love. I think, um, I don't think romantic love is everything, but I think emptying the dishwasher is love, <laughs> shoveling the driveway is love. Um, so yeah, I do think love is, is necessary. Yeah, I think so. I think it depends on the type of person that you are. Um, I know me personally, I, I think that, you know, it's important to feeling alive and uh, mm -hmm. being happy. But some people I know can live without it, so I guess it all depends on who you are. Uh, yeah, because, like, if you don't have love, like, you basically don't have anything, in a way. Yes, because I think everyone needs happiness in their life.